Hello everybody, this is Eric from Gamers of the Ages and I'm going to make a Cinema 4D tutorial on how to make a Pokeball, a very realistic Pokeball. And after this tutorial is finished, I'm going to make another tutorial on how to open the Pokeball and make it look very realistic as it is opening. And the link for that video will be in the description. Now let's begin. Uh, start by giving yourself a sphere. Now change the type to from standard to hemisphere to make half a circle. So now change the segments to 100 to make a bunch more segments. Go or er, and now with the sphere selected, press C to make it editable, and go to your polygons mode and go to select and pick loop selection to so that you can select this bottom uh, loop yes and click on that and then press delete or backspace and that removes one loop of these segments to make it look better it'll make it'll make a big difference so now what you're going to want to do is go back to your original editing mode, go to or create a cylinder, uh, rotate this cylinder 90 degrees on the on the P and change click on the cylinder and change its radius to from 50 to 30. Now uh the on the cylinder pokes out of the back end so you want to just move that up it doesn't matter how far you move it up this is this cylinder means nothing it's just going to create a little indent right here where the where the pokeball is intent, indented ah. all right so now what you're going to want to do is make sure that the cylinder is under the sphere so that uh no no it just has to be like that and um uh, pick your or create your bool tool and select both the cylinder and the sphere and attach that to the bool tool and then select the bool tool and press C yeah now as you can see it creates a little indent so now what you can do is delete the cylinder unattach the sphere from the bool tool and delete bool tool now you just have the sphere and um, oh yeah, go back to your polygons mode. Click on the sphere and press Control A to select all of the segments. Now, once that is done, right-click on uh, the sphere hemisphere and click Extrude. Now, change the offset from five centimeters to two centimeters and press Enter. As you can see, er, what that does is it goes from flat to not flat and it becomes a little bit more epic inside so now once you've done that you can go back to your original editing mode uh, click on the sphere press control C V to copy and paste it to create another one and rotate this bad boy from the B or on the B 180 degrees what that does is, uh, as you can see, is this this is the bottom, or this is pretty much the pokeball thing. Now what you want to do is create another sphere, and that will be the inside. And um, if you are interested in um, making this pokeball open up, like in my next tutorial, uh, change. The, this sphere segment to 100 and rotate it 90 degrees on the P and I will mess with that in my next tutorial to make it open. All right now um, what we're going to want to do is create another cylinder and rotate, rotate that 90 degrees on the P and change its radius to 30 I mean not 30, 23 Alright, so now 
um, change the or change the height to five centimeters. And now move this up so that so that um it is like if this was to keep going around it wouldn't match up so pretty much that was way too much probably about there you you won't see this little circle because as you can see you can see it now but the button will cover that up so it doesn't matter so yeah it looks pretty good right now so now actually maybe just a little bit more there you go that looks even better actually no it doesn't yeah, let's just put it back. All right, now um, we're going to create the button. So click on the cylinder and Control C V to make to copy and paste it. And now let's pull this out just a little bit. Actually, let's just change this right now, so it's not as confusing. Change it to sixteen. I think looks the best. You can change it out if you want, but that's how I like it. And now just adjust it so it looks like that kind of like a butt um, so now what we're going to want to do is well all we really oh yeah wait oops I almost forgot alright so now uh, with the button selected uh, click on your caps click on fill it and change the radius to 1 this makes it look a lot better and uh, now, as you can see, you have a pretty realistic Pokeball. All you have to do now, really, is um, change the, or create colors. So let's create one, two, three is what we're gonna need. So let's create the red color, or the top. And uh, actually, before we do that, let's uh, label all of these. So top, Gosh. Bottom. Uh, inside. Inside. I guess. Um. Let's just label. Button. Button. And then. Button. Holder. I guess. I, I don't know. I never know what to call that thing. All right. So now, yeah. Let's uh work on this. So this will obviously be the top. And um, click on or go to reflection, click on reflection, and uh, change the brightness to 10. And click on texture and create, make it Fresnel, and change that to 20, 20, yeah, 20. And um, yeah, all right, so now just do it again I guess except make it white uh, oops um, wait one sec jeez oh, alright so yeah, it's just alright let's work from this one color and make it white and now go to reflection turn that on 10 texture for now 20 and also what you could do to make this faster is control C V make or just remake it. Now go into that color black. I don't go all the way black, it makes it look better. Now yeah, that's pretty much it. So now let's just uh put these on all of these. Um, yeah, no. Inside, make that, that, and the button, oh my gosh. Alright, fine, I'll just put it on here. And then, I'm gonna do this out. You can see, looks kind of amazing. Hmm, wait, let me just uh, make a floor, make it look even more amazing. Let's just uh, move this down a bit. 
make sure it's not popping out. There, good enough. Er, yeah, it's good enough. All right, so now uh, let's create a light array. Uh, oops. Um, yeah, array. And then let's do this oh, yeah, up here and uh, change the radius to 1000 or change the radius of the array to 1000 and now put that 500 on the y-axis and uh, change the intensity of the light to 50 and uh now whoa now um create a plane oh well, what did i just do all right well i guess i didn't do a thing all right create a plane and uh make a new material and just check luminance and that's it now drag this onto the plane Make the plane 3,000 by 3,000 and put it 1,000 on the y axis. And uh, now let's see what that looks like. Looks pretty awesome. Would look cooler with better background, different colors, and stuff. Uh, probably look better with shadows. Shadow map soft. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty awesome. I mean, it, it would look way better if you did like all those different crazy things with like lights and stuff. But uh, yeah, that's I'm just worried about getting you guys to this stage, and you could do whatever you want with it. Uh, so this is the end of the Pokeball tutorial. Uh, next tutorial will be to open it. So yeah, that's it. See ya.